Good evening, everybody. This is yours truly, Mr. Steven, and welcome to the Steven Factor. Happy March. Happy March. I always could say, um, since I'm doing the March episodes right now, that I have so many um, good news to show you this. But I, but first, I want to give you a, a little bit of a special announcement that um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles has done again. And, and guess what? They're going to do it a another crossover so thank god nickelodeon who owned the rights of tmnt and and you know they did such a great job to bring their our childhood for alive for for young and old and all kind of stuff so listen i already heard the announcement um since yesterday that the tmnt 90s meets the new version of the nickelodeon's tmnt from 2012 will me up again and they're going to do a very special episode called Trans Dimensional Turtles. And I think the show will be aired on March 27th. Will be, and that's the same day they could be aired on Easter Sunday. Yes, Easter Sunday, the day that, you know, the resurrection of the Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, people are heading to church. The whole neighborhood is quiet. But we're not getting back to that. This is Turtle Power time, ladies and gentlemen, and they don't care. They want to see the crossover. They're going to set up their DVRs. They're going to record it on tapes, or even they had to wait until the DVD. So I found this article from SlashFilms.com, and, and the article goes like this. So if you're the child of the 80s and 90s, you're undoubtedly know the theme song of the animated Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It was a staple of Saturday morning cartoons, and for some fans, is a, a pinnacle, a pin, a pinnacle of heroes in half shell entertainment. There has been a lot of nostalgia for old anime series of the shirts, lunchboxes, hats, and even new pricey action figures. And to tell you the truth, they've been everywhere. I went to Cookies. I went to Ridays. I'm telling you, those those turtles are area. I am not playing. They they become a phenomenal hit. They will try it. They will. It, it, you know, it's all about this. It's all about this. You know, they're gonna bring new toys, all kind of stuff. So, anyways, and now they are coming back to television, but in a slight, slightly different form. Nickelodeon's TMNT series will be getting a visit from the retro animator of TMNT in a new episode that cross dimensions. What's really cool that the episode will also bring back the original voices, actors, and the old series. There are more details, TMNT crossover after the job. After the jump. The episode is called Trans Dimensional Turtles. We'll see Leo, Seth Green, Rav, Sheen, and Aston, Donnie, Rob Paulson, and Mikey Greg Sipes transport to other dimension where they meet their retro counterparts in the old anime world the turtles will again be voices by cam clark rob paulson yes he's in both shows i love that actor he he was phenomenal barry goldman and townsend coleman which is also known as the originals of leonardo donatello Raphael, and michelangelo respectfully uh, they add Pat Farley. That's right, Pat Farley, who's the the original voice of the Crank. Trailer. What happened to my Technodrome? But Crank, the Technodrome is not working. I must destroy the turtles. No, Shredder. I'm gonna destroy the turtles. And remember, I've become a new leader. What happened to my nuts and box? <laughs> oh shoot! Okay. Um. Yes, he will be also be back on a brain villain with team up with the current team and team villain Crank Sapphire, and some of a kind of statutory plan. And here are the old actors together again recording studio. Um. Uh, they take away Paulson, who is sick of this day. Oh yes. Oh yes, he was sick of this day. Oh man, I think he have a call, but I hope you feel better, Rob Boston. And yes, and you know, I really missed it. And as you really know about this, um, 
If you saw the clips, um, the animations look cool. The 80 version of the animation is completely realistic and perfect timing too. So I really enjoyed it. But I predict that it will be the, the two-part episode. It will be a 30-minute episode. So that's I'm very concerned about it. But but right now, I'm so excited. I think it will be aired on, okay, uh, March 27th again. Apparently, this episode will be going into an, another anime world that will look like Kevin Easton, the original TMNT comic books. That sounds cool enough to set the DVR. That's why I said that. Uh, just now, this episode when it airs on Sunday, March 27th. That's right, Easter Sunday, go to church. It certainly can't be worse than most recent TMNT movie or much more super looking sequel of TMNT uh, out Shadows coming this summer. <laughs> yeah, but not quite. But I can't wait. Looking forward to it. And I hope I hope everything will be cool. Okay, that's um okay. Uh, that's the first one, and now let's do uh, a second one that I'm talking about. I'm talking about uh, Ghostbusters trailer. Now, um, I, I so uh, since like uh, like days ago, I think, well, uh, a week ago, I think, um, I saw the Ghostbusters um review. I mean, trailer, and I think it is a remake of this trailer. Now, I know I had to say this, but. I respect women, and you know, I talk with women, I get along with women, women, but I think this trailer is like a little bit of, you know, I don't know, a little bit out of hand. Now, they decided that Sony will make a, a Ghostbusters remake with, women, with female versions in it. They want to be scientists just like the original Ghostbusters almost like 30-something years ago. Make it thirty two years ago, you to be exact, and now um, and now they decide trying to take over the, now all the ghosts is trying to take over the New York City, so the female Ghostbusters trying to take over the ghosts, uh, will destroy the ghosts and spirits and all kind of stuff, and there's Slimer the cameo, and you can see the old fashions of Times Squares, and you know what, I really like this trailer because they want to bring it back just like good old days and stuff. But the trailer, I'm very concerned that I think the new version of the Ghostbusters will be a bad movie. Well, the remedy tell you reasons why. It's got to be some corny jokes. And there's a little bit of controversy. Even they doing some racial stereotypes. I'm not going to say it anyway because um, I'm not very ignoring all these news, man. Because it's getting on my nerves. But uh, seriously, I know, I know it's getting too early. But I think this movie will be not good enough. For the fans, and especially for my Sami, I love the Ghostbusters. I love the movie and especially the cartoon. And even the original version is much even better. And then the 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 writing was perfect. And as you really know about this, um, there are two creators who make the 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 Ghostbusters, and um, and and their names are um Dan Aykroyd, and also. Give me a minute here. Uh, and this even, and that's move, and the movie will be created as like, yes, Harold Harold Remens and Dan Aykroyd become the creators of the Ghostbusters movie, and also they created the, the real Ghostbusters on the anime series. But I'm very concerned about this new movie with a female version. I hope they make it funny enough. I hope they make it darker enough. But I think in the remake, uh, the remake version, we're going to, you know, and as you really know about this, they will not become the next box office. I think I predict that this movie will be taken like number three, between number three or four slot of, of the box office. But that's my prediction, by the way. But again, I saw the trailer of Ghostbusters, and I have a little bit of chuckles inside, but I think this movie is not good for me. But but as you know, just watch it and discuss it, and you know, and when you go to the movies this summer, see the remake of the Ghostbusters, tell you how you really feel about the situation. That's all I ask. Okay, that's the wraps up of this edition of Steven Factor. This is yours truly, Mr. Steven, saying 
Dola by La Familia, and thank you for watching the Steam Factor. Good night, everybody.